Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I want uh, to share a few tips with you on how you can manage site access requests in SharePoint Online. Uh, let me first explain to you the use case. So here I have a, I happen to have a team site, leadership team site, and it happens to be a, a, a true team site, uh, meaning that it's connected to a Microsoft 365 group. Uh, and uh, it's also obviously connected to Teams and few other elements uh, within Microsoft 365. Uh, now, um, I happen to be the only member. Uh, I actually happen to be the owner of the uh, of this team site, and no one else is part of the site. Uh, but what I want to show you is what happens when uh, other users, other uh, you know employees, happen to go to this URL. And let's see what the experience looks like for them. So I'm going to copy this URL and uh, head over to another browser. In this one, I uh, happen to be logged in as Mary. All right. So Mary does not have access uh, to the site. I'm just going to paste the URL. Somehow Mary discovered the URL. Here we go. This is what uh, this is what happens. Essentially, uh, obviously Mary doesn't have access, but she can request one. All right. And um, we can maybe uh you know specify the a message here please allow me into this site all right here we go perfect mary is requesting access uh so what i want to show you is what actually happens all right essentially and yeah you can see the update uh and uh, uh essentially um you know it's telling mary hey we're waiting for the approval but what i want to show you is how to manage those site requests uh and uh, how to uh, either disable them, uh, disable this experience altogether, or maybe even improve the experience. So let me show you. Uh, back on screen number one, where I'm logged in as Greg, as the owner of the site. If you click gear icon, uh, site uh, permissions, and under change how members can share, just click on it. All right. And under access requests, there are a few settings you can tweak. So first of all, uh, if you do not want people requesting access, all right, maybe, you know, what it's a private site, nobody, you know, should ever request access to the site. Uh, essentially, you can toggle the switch, all right? And uh, essentially, uh, you are disabling any future access uh, requests. Uh, and it just, you know, essentially the experience for the user would be, you know, they, they would, you know, make it to the site, to the URL, and it would tell them, hey, you don't have access. And it would not give them that window where you can, uh, uh, request access, all right? Uh, you are not, you, the users will not be able to pretty much request access at all, all right? Uh, there is another uh, option here. So by default, those emails, by the way, when Mary just sent the request, you know, to join the site, by it, you know, I received an email, all right? Uh, and uh, essentially, I can go to my Outlook and approve or reject from there. But by default, those emails go to all the owners of the site, all right? Essentially, uh, anyone, you know, who is the owner of the site, uh, all right? Uh, you can actually change it. Maybe there is an admin that you have, all right? Just some, or maybe a SharePoint admin, somebody else who manages those requests. Uh, you can specify an alternate email here. So you can actually specify, and then those requests will go to this particular individual. Uh, you can also customize the text uh, over here, all right? That's the text that appears in that uh, little window over here. Um, you know, maybe, you know, please allow us, uh, you know, a few days to take care of uh, your request and all that. Uh, so there are a few settings available here. All right. Now, um, so like I said, uh, when, uh, you know, when Miri requested that access, um, I should have received an email uh, in my Outlook uh, where I can approve or reject, uh, uh, you know, this, uh, those requests from. But let me show you another uh, option, another option that uh, you should be aware of. If you click the gear icon, site information, view all site settings, you are going to see this link over here, access requests and invitations, all right? This was not here, you know, previously, all right? Uh, this, if you go to your site, you might not necessarily see this because um, nobody has requested access, all right? This link only appears when uh, someone at least, you know, the first individual requests access. So let's click and look at this, look at this. Uh, it's essentially, you know, there are a few uh, things here, a few uh, headings. 
Uh, it shows you the pending requests, the external user invitations, if you shared your site externally, and then the history, all right? So look, uh, it tells me, hey, Mary is requesting access to this leadership team, and she submitted this request a few minutes ago. So once I approve, let me approve it, because uh, there is another thing I want to show you. So this uh, automatically grant access to Mary, uh, to my site, and she will let me refresh my screen. She should appear on the history now because I already took care of that request. All right, just like that, you see. But let me show you what happens uh, in terms of permissions. And that's very, very important to note. Uh, if you look at this, um, I'm still listed as the only member of this uh, team. But if I go to gear icon site permissions, and I will expand all these three groups. Look what happened. Um, essentially, once I uh, accepted Mary into the team, she was added as the member, but she was added to the SharePoint site only, all right? And that's very, very important to understand. Uh, if you have a communication site, that's not an issue, right? Because in communication sites, we just have those three SharePoint security groups. But because this is a team site, team site, uh, there are two levels of permissions here, right? There is the site security, which is managed here. And then there is also the group membership, right? Um, which allows users access to Teams and you know uh, Outlook uh, calendar and so on. In this case, because we're dealing with SharePoint site requests, uh, very important to note when you accept those individuals through those requests, they are only added to the, to the SharePoint site. All right, so if you wanted Mary to have access to Teams, right, all the channels and, Planner and Outlook and all that, then you should then maybe reject the request or remove Mary, right, and add her uh, separately as the member. So uh, very, very important to understand this, all right, concept. All right, so in some cases, if you don't want any confusion, right, if uh, let's say, uh, uh, you know, once again, you, you want to make sure that all the people end up here as the members of the group, maybe, maybe you're better off, uh, you know, disabling of this all together, right? So uh, you don't make a mistake by accident. And uh, then uh, the users can just, uh, you know, possibly request access uh, through Teams or uh, other means, right? So that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned uh, something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.